presented by Discover. It pays to discover. He quite frankly was a uh, runaway winner for the Heisman Trophy. He was the most well-known of a team that was just recognized throughout the country as, uh, as being America's team in 1939. On December 6, 1939, Niall Kinnick was presented with the Heisman Trophy. His words that evening still echo more than 70 years later. It seems to me that everyone is letting their superlatives run away with them this evening. But nonetheless, I want you to know that I'm mighty, mighty happy to accept this trophy this evening. Finally, if you will permit me, I'd like to make a comment which in my mind is indicative perhaps of the greater significance of football and sports emphasis in general in this country. And that is, I thank God I was warring on the gridirons of the Midwest and not on the battlefields of Europe. I can, I can speak confidently and positively that the players of this country would much more, much rather, struggle and fight to win the Heisman Award than a quad to get her. Thank you. His speech at the, the dinner in New York City was the greatest speech any athlete has ever made in that situation. There is nothing like it, and I don't think there ever will be. People were blown away at, at the kind of uh, young man that could come up with uh, that sort of uh, deep thought and sentiment, uh, assessing the way the world was. I've done this for 70 years, and most of the time since 1939, I just have carried this little cassette in my briefcase to every Iowa game, and it is Kinnick's Heisman Trophy acceptance speech. And sometimes I just play it to remind myself what a student athlete is all about. Kinnick earned his degree from Iowa in 1940 in economics graduating with distinction and delivering the commencement address to his class. Upon graduation, Kinnick looked not to the football field, but to the classroom. He saw pro football as an obstacle to what it was that he truly wanted to do in life, which was go to law school and get into politics so he could have a positive effect on other people's lives. Sports was a low priority for him. This guy was already he was 21 going on 50. He already knew what he wanted. A true Renaissance man, a deep thinker. And his, his classmates at Iowa named him the class president. Football alone did not get you that, obviously. And they all expected him to be the governor of the state of Iowa. Kinnick passed on several offers to play professional football. Instead, he enrolled in law school at Iowa. And after one year of graduate classes, Kinnick elected to join the Naval Air Reserve. On June 2nd, 1943, Kinnick was flying a training mission off the coast of Venezuela when his plane's engine developed an oil leak. He executed an emergency water landing, and despite rescue boats arriving eight minutes later, his body was never found. Dial Kinnick was 24 years old. The fact that we lost him, I think, does amplify his legend but it would have been great to know what he would have become had, had he not passed. Just think how wonderful it would be if you could be sitting here right now talking to a 91-year-old Niall Kinnick about his entire life and what that might have entailed. In 1972, nearly 30 years after his tragic death, Iowa Stadium was renamed Kinnick Stadium. Why Kinnick Stadium? I mean, why not? I mean, here's the person who uh, won the Heisman Trophy. He was a, an outstanding student. He was an outstanding citizen. And he sort of represents the potential of a young student athlete. Now, Kinnick is so revered that ever since 1965, the Big Ten has used a coin with the image of Kinnick as a 
before the coin flip, before every Big Ten game in every Big Ten stadium. 70 years after Iowa lost Niall Kinnick, his spirit remains, both in the stadium that bears his name and in the marriage of athletics and academics that he so symbolizes. If you're trying to quantify a Niall Kinnick, uh, you see Phi Beta Kappa, you see a Heisman Trophy winner, uh, you see politics in his future, and uh, sadly you see uh, a war hero, or tragically uh, a war hero. Uh, I think it speaks volumes for the, uh, the complete person that Niall Kinnick was. I suspect that there's a part of, uh, there's a piece of every Iowa fan that likes the fact that Niall Kinnick's our only Heisman, our stadium being named after him. Uh, the manner in which he left us uh, in his desire to serve our country. Uh, to somehow add another one, as great as that would be, would it dilute the impact of now Kenny? Uh, I suspect not, but it is kind of neat just having one. He represents the bedrock values of, of the state and the people. And I think the fact that he died the way he did in the service of his country lends the sort of patina of tragedy to it that will make him just a hallowed figure and, and has made him a hallowed figure to this day. I think for this school, Iowa really is, is now Kinnick and Kinnick, Iowa. I think that the reason we still talk about now Kinnick today is that we look back and we realize that he epitomizes the model of what we would want our student-athletes to be today, even though he was what he was back then. To learn more about Niall Kinnick and see the current list of the top 50 icons in Big Ten history, visit BigTenIcons.com. For Icons, I'm Keith Jackson. So long, everybody.